As part of a league-wide initiative on this special day, Major League Baseball is dedicated to increasing awareness of prostate cancer while also raising funds to fight the disease. Recently, Dr. Deepak Kapoor of Advanced Urology Centers of New York was at the stadium, and he took some time to talk with our John Flaherty. I'm here with Dr. Kapoor from the Advanced Urology Center in New York, and we're going to be talking about a little bit of prostate cancer. Major League Baseball and New York Yankees have done a great job of raising awareness about prostate cancer. Why should men be so concerned about this type of cancer? Well, first of all, John, thanks for having me out on Father's Day to talk about this important issue. You know, prostate cancer, despite all our advances, remains the most commonly diagnosed me a solid tumor in men. And this year, over 220,000 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Despite the, tre uh, the treatment successes, it's still the leading cause, second leading cause of cancer death. So we're going to see almost 28,000 men die this year. Mm -hmm. So given the prevalence and the fact that prostate cancer can be a killer disease, early detection is so important. Now we know that all men should be concerned about prostate cancer, but are there any uh, specific races of men who should be more concerned, maybe at higher risk? That's a great uh, question, John. And uh, in fact, it's not only just particular races, but certain categories of men. The fact is that African American men are at much higher risk for getting prostate cancer than other races, and are veterans that had uh, exposure to Agent Orange, and particularly also men who with a family history of prostate cancer. So those three groups of men need to be particularly concerned about this disease. Now, Dr. Kapoor, I know early detection with all type of cancer is a big deal. You were telling me off camera that there might be some controversy with early detection in prostate cancer. Yeah, and thanks for bringing that up because it's one of the really frustrating points for those of us that treat this disease. <laughs> that uh, in 2012, a government agency came out with a recommendation that no man should be screened for prostate cancer. Since that time, we've seen a big reduction in the number of people that are seeking screenings, and for the first time in more than two decades, a potential increase in death rate. You know, before we started PSA screenings in 1986, the 10-year survival for prostate cancer was under 50%. Now, believe it or not, it's 99% plus. The death rate from prostate cancer has gone down by 40%. So we would hate to see us undo those years of progress based on a misguided recommendation from a government agency. Now, are there any early signs that men can pay attention to and go about getting early detection? Unfortunately, John, there's not. The most common symptom of prostate cancer is no symptoms at all, which is why screening is so important. But it's important to remember that not everybody needs to be screened. So with the improvement in our understanding of uh, tumor biology, we now have been able to develop really highly personalized methods to screen for cancer. So at this point in time, my strongest recommendation based on international guidelines is that all men, regardless of age, ethnicity, or, uh, or risk factor, undergo PSA testing sometime in their 40s. Once you get that baseline result, based on your risk factors and molecular and genetic testing that we've developed, you can work with your doctor to create a customized screening regimen that's just for you. Yeah. So you don't overdiagnose cancers that might not need to be treated, and you don't miss cancers that could be life-threatening. Dr. Kapoor, great advice about getting early detection. Where can these men go to get detected? Well, you can come to our website, Advanced Urology Centers of New York, www.aucfny. We're the largest practice in the country. We have 55 offices throughout the New York metro area. So all of our board certified physicians are there to help men who are looking to uh, talk about early detection of prostate cancer. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We're going to step aside once more here on BPTV. When we come back, we'll turn the focus back to today's on-field action in the Bronx, where Alex Rodriguez will look to stay hot when the Yankees go in search of a sweep.